Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server with Visual Studio 2019. So, first, I am going to uh, show you at here uh, that to SQL Server I am using. So, at here I am using SQL Server 2014. So, you can choose any SQL Server. So, let's click there Microsoft SQL Server 2014. So this is the Microsoft SQL Server 2014 Management Studio. So add here you get to server type for database in server type database engine server name. This is the server name add here authentication. So there are two ways to we can add here or do the authentication. First is Windows authentication. Next is SQL Server authentication. So there are two ways of authentication, Windows and SQL Server authentication. So first I am going to show you what to, uh, to connect to Microsoft SQL Server with Visual Studio 2019 with Windows authentication. So let's click on connect. So it's loading all the component. Now here after click on database. So there are two uh, user defined or and or we can say or uh, user created. So first is Adam and next is Maxima. So these are a system defined database. So inside to uh, inside to Maxima there are no any tables. So and you're going to select to Adam database. So just to right click. So I am going to create one new table. So going to click on new query and you are going to write some one simplest query. So I am create or uh, going to write the query to create one simplest table. So create table. So there are no any EMP or table add here. So going to give the table name EMP. Now here or uh, give the ID. So there should be integer tag and next is name. So name should be backyard. Now here after close by bracket execute that. So command completed successfully. So here after let's refresh the Adam database and go to the table so there you can find EMP table it's created now here after let's uh, uh, go to the start now here going to open uh, Visual Studio 2019 preview so Visual Studio preview now here after let's uh, continue without code and here you get this console here so here after uh, let's go to our tools tab so inside the uh, tools tab you can find connect to database click on connect to database So at here we have a different option of data source Microsoft Access. Here after you can uh, this is all description Microsoft or visit all description SQL Server about description and here Microsoft to SQL Server database file and here Oracle you can connect Oracle with here and here this is about other so going to connect with uh, Microsoft SQL Server to Visual Studio 2019 so you have to select uh, this option so if I press on continue so actually I am getting some error masses some masses not error masses so it's uh, install missing package so some package it's uh, missing so I'm going to install if you get to this kind of message so you need to install some package and uh, let's click on ok So click on OK. Now here it's so continue. 
so at here the package is start of starting operation download finished up almost done now here after again visual studio it's opening now here after again let's go to tools tab and here click on connect to database and here microsoft sql server click on continue so at here if you want then here you can if you want to go back here you can click on change so you just go back here now let's click on ok so this is the data source microsoft sql server client and you have to let's so see the server name so click on down arrow so it's a retrieving of list of server so there are two server at here it's retrieve so this is here so at here we need to check the correct server so let's go to at here disconnect microsoft sql server so this is the server that i'm using so ms sql server 1 now you can also copy that one and you can paste it here by right click directly or you can click on arrow so this is the server that i'm using microsoft sql server 1 so inside you get to uh, different database so i created one simplest uh, table on adam database so create selecting adam now here after let's click on connect and here this is the adam and you're going to use emp table so here windows authentication now click on advanced so this is the all advanced here so it will describe everything now click on ok test connection connection succeeded now click on ok so see at here it's so uh, our desktop t3 my uh, ms sql server 1 it's come there with adam database so if you click uh, there if you click there you get the table views store processor are all, all there so this is all our tables inside adam database so that means uh, uh, all the uh, microsoft sql tables views everything it's come here in visual studio 2019 that means so uh, 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 microsoft sql server with visual studio are uh, connected successfully now you can use this all tables according to project requirement so let's click on emp so see at here oh, the loading design surfaces the design surface is loading So this is the query that I written in Microsoft SQL Server. Now it's come inside Visual Studio. So and here this is the I created ID and name and here this is the data type I have given in JSON back here. So that means uh, by using Windows authentication mode. SQL Server successfully connected with Visual Studio 2019. Now hereafter let's go back and uh, here disconnect connect. So this time I, I used at your Windows now this time going to use SQL Server. So at your going to use the login essay and let's give the password. So you can give login with any so here I just log in with SA. Now this time going to use Maximo or database and going to create one new table. So let's copy that one and going to select Maximo. So going to create the table EMP inside Maximo. So command completed successfully. Now here after uh, let's go cancel that to not require that things now again go to the tools tab here connect to database and you're going to search the 
सर्वर नेम तो सर्वर नेम एम एस एसक्यू सर्वर वन यू वन चेक देन जस्ट इनक्रीज दैट थिंग्स तो सी आठ दिस इज द सर्वर नेम एम एस एसक्यू सर्वर वन तो इट्स लॉग इन विथ एस ए यूजर no here after oh, this is the user so this time i'm going to use sql server authentication give the username as a and suitable password and here select the database so this time i'm going to select maximo database now here after advanced so you can uh, see all the advanced had here so this is the connection asn maximo user id as a so you see you can also see the password it's come there Five digit password. Now click on OK. Test the connection succeeded. Click on OK. Now here after so see at here. Oh uh, this time or uh, at your MS SQL connected with Maxima database. So this is the Maxima it's app here. Now here after. So there are only one tables that I created just EMP. So this is the table that I just created. So you wanna check the data or table inside Maxima database. So see here only EMP or table is there. So here EMP table. Now double click on EMP. So this is the query that I created on Maxima database. So if uh, these things are appear here, table views everything, it's all or it's coming at here. That means by using uh, SQL Server authentication mode, we connected Microsoft SQL Server successfully with Visual Studio 2019. So these are the two ways to we, we can connect. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.